Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Lent podcast with Dave and I. Um, we are going to be finishing our theme about Jesus and the unlikely today. Dave, who are you going to be talking to us about? Well, in it's slightly almost like we're doing last week's because Jesus is speaking to one of his friends. He's speaking to Peter, one of the disciples, but he's Peter is coming and talking to him about potentially unlikely people. So that's the kind of link today. Ah. And to help getting us thinking about this, Shona, yes, I'm going to give you an opportunity right now. I love an opportunity. I'm going to ask you to do something. Okay. And I promise you it's okay to do it. Shona, <laughs> I want you to say something unkind to me about me right now. Um, I feel like it's a trick. It's not a trick. I promise you I want you to do it. Okay. <clears throat> I genuinely have to think about this because I want it to be really good. But not good because it's not going to be nice. Yeah. Um, Dave, I don't like the way that you ask me questions on the spot most podcasts. Well, Shona, I forgive you for saying that to me. I forgive you. Today we're thinking about forgiveness. So, um, yeah, I mean, Shona and I get on. We're not actually trying to be unkind to each other. No. And uh, I just asked her to do that so we could uh, think about forgiveness. Because today, one of Jesus's friends, Peter, asks him a question about how much he should forgive someone who hasn't been good to him. So, Shona, can you begin reading that verse for us? Yep. So this is Matthew 18, verses 21 to 22. Then Peter came to him and asked, Lord, how often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? Okay, and before we get to Jesus' answer, I just want to mention, this is a slightly weird question, isn't it? Coming up to Jesus and asking for a number. How many times should I forgive someone when they've done something wrong to me? But actually, it may seem weird to us, but this was a question that people spent quite a lot of time discussing and debating and arguing about at the time. Because people thought that God's answer would be all kinds of different things. Some people thought that you should forgive people once. Forgive people once, and then if they do it again, that's it. They're out. Some people said that actually, no, the correct number of times was that you should forgive someone three times. And the most kind, generous, forgiving people said, no, we we should actually forgive people seven times. And Peter's been around Jesus enough to know that... Jesus is all about forgiving people. Think about it. All these unlikely people we've thought about this week. Zacchaeus and Matthew, the tax collector, and even the people that came and tried to trick him. Jesus is kind to them. So Peter's realized that Jesus is at the upper end of this kindness and forgiving scale. But actually, what else is he asking? Because he's not just saying, how many times should I forgive someone? He's saying, how many times before I can start to punish them? What he actually wants to know is when he can start holding things against people instead of forgiving them. So he's saying it might even be as many as seven times. Now, Shona, can you read us Jesus's answer? Of course I can. So this is verse 22. No, not seven times, Jesus replied, but 70 times seven. 70 times seven. So yes. for anyone who's got their multiplication, their 70 times table out, um, that is 490 times. Whoa. Seven times 70 is 490, almost 500. And I mean, that's just a big number. And what Jesus isn't saying is that we should actually count up to 490 times. And then the 491st time that someone does something bad, then we can start punishing them and holding it against them. No, he's just giving a very big number. And what he's basically saying is, don't bother counting. Stop trying to count how many times someone's done something wrong and how many times you've forgiven. Just always forgive them. Keep on forgiving. Jesus is saying we should live our lives forgiving people whenever they hurt us and whenever they treat us badly. Now, it's important for us to think about what forgiving someone actually means. Because when we forgive someone, we're not saying that what they've done is okay. If what they've done was okay we wouldn't need to forgive it. But when we forgive someone, we're choosing not to hold it against them anymore. We're choosing not to hold a grudge against them. I heard someone say something recently and it really, really struck me. They said, you might think that you're holding a grudge, but actually there's a grudge holding you. That you are actually being kept 
angry and kept upset as long as you're not forgiving someone. Forgiving people, letting them go, is good for you. And it's also good for them. And it can be good for your relationship. And Jesus knows this. And he knows that forgiveness, instead of anger and punishment and judgment, is a much better way to live. So my question for you is, is there somebody that you have had to forgive? Maybe there's someone that you actually think you probably need to forgive now. Maybe you can think about those things together right now. Thanks for that, Dave. That's a tricky thing to think about, but also I think will be like a really freeing thing to think about once we put it into action. Absolutely. Cool. Well, you guys have a good time chatting about that and we won't be here tomorrow because it's Sunday, but we will be back on Monday. Absolutely. Have a great weekend. Ta-ra. Bye. Bye.